It is something many can find common ground with. Animals are like family. So after two pets were killed and law enforcement did little, two local families say they fear what could be next for others. We do want to warn you, some images you'll see could be disturbing. News 4 investigator Lauren Traeger has the story you're only seeing on 4 tonight. It's the kind of place animals ought to love. But on a quiet one-way gravel road in Warren County, neighbors say lives a pet killer. When you look that kind of behavior up in the encyclopedia, it says psychopath. Jason Fincher loved his pair of Great Dane puppies. They were absolutely great dogs. I mean, just amazing. Come on, Carl. What are you doing, buddy? They roamed around their expansive yard without any trouble. Until one day, Fincher's wife saw something horrifying. She will swear to it that she stood right here and watched that man swerve and hit that dog. Blue, Fincher says, was hit by a neighbor. The front and back tires. Despite efforts to save him, the puppy didn't make it. That was my buddy. That was my son's dog. He slept with him every night. An accident, you might ask. He never came down here and said he was sorry. So he didn't show any remorse? None. Zero. It was a bunch of flip-offs and F you. And what's more, the man who Fincher says did it had been caught on camera vowing to kill. And then he finally did it. Do you think one person is responsible for two animals deaths? I do. I do believe there's just one person responsible for these deaths. Ashley Kinshi, another neighbor nearby, believes the same man also killed her cat, Ralph. Very friendly sweet cat. Ralph, just two years old, a best friend to her daughter, an indoor cat who a few months ago accidentally got out. And I could see him. His face was sticking this way. Ashley discovered him lying in a nearby bush. And I was like, hey, buddy, let's go inside. And I immediately saw the blood. Her agony caught on camera as she discovered he'd been shot clean through with an arrow. Never in a million years would I think I'd come home and find him agonal with an arrow through him. Ralph also didn't survive. If somebody can do that to an animal, why couldn't they do that to a human? In both instances, the cops were called and reports written. What has happened with it? Nothing. I haven't heard anything back. Um, I don't feel like anything was done. For example, authorities didn't seem to do much about the fact the man was seen that same day wandering the Kinshi's yard as if looking for the animal he'd shot. They didn't fingerprint the expensive arrow she still keeps in a bag to this day. And she says they didn't thoroughly investigate that man who has the bow targets in his backyard. There's only one person who sits out in their backyard, you know, most days and sits out there and bow hunts. We tried talking with Warren County Sheriff Kevin Harrison. He wouldn't do an interview and told us he had nothing to add to the story. They said there's really nothing they can do because there's no uh, no laws on animal cruelty. It's a class A misdemeanor and it, it's a very serious offense. But that's not true, according to Bob Baker with the Missouri Alliance for Animal Legislation. He says intentionally killing an animal, even on your property, for no reason is a crime. It becomes a felony if the animal is tortured while alive. The trouble, he says, is getting law enforcement to take the laws seriously. Well, you hope that they investigate it thoroughly. I mean, that's all we can really hope for. And I think they do need to take it seriously, even if not for the animal's sake. As so many of these people start out by hurting animals and then they progress to other things. Hello. We tried to get a hold of the man believed responsible. Can I ask your caller, please? This is Lauren Traeger with Channel 4 News. But he simply hung up on us. We're not identifying him because he's not been charged. I don't think there's ever any reason to kill an animal like that. It's sad. Worried for the safety of their other animals and even their kids and concerned he'll simply move away. I hope his neighbors do not have pets because he's that kind of guy. These neighbors left hoping for some kind of justice. You're wrecking people's lives, hurting people in ways that you don't even realize. I did obtain the police reports for those two incidents. In Blue's case, the deputy said the neighbor claimed it was an accident, and the deputy said there was no evidence the man left the road to hit the dog. In Ralph the Cat's case, it says the investigation is still ongoing. There is a Facebook page called Justice for Ralph. You can find a link to it at KMOV.com and on the KMOV app. Lauren Traeger, News 4 Investigates.